We are in uh, Intergeo Stuttgart with the Hexagon Global Network TV, and I'm with Laden Stoichik, uh, asking you uh, some questions about your recent uh, launch of new products in mm -hmm. Hexagon Geospatial. Yes. Uh, Laden, please tell me a little bit more about uh, Smart Map, how it's uh, the map of the future. Okay, so Smart Map is a new initiative. It's based on uh, basically our cloud strategy, mm -hmm. where we're essentially uh, fusing uh, multi-source content derived from a variety of different uh, sources, basically from satellites, from airborne sensors, from terrestrial sensors. And that data in and of itself is of limited value until you apply mm -hmm. software to it. Yeah. But even that's of limited value until you wrap it around a solution that can be delivered as an application. Um, and then when I talk about delivered, delivered as an information service. So, mm -hmm. so Smart Map is, a, is an initiative that's on the cloud, providing our partners and customers an application platform for building apps that deliver smart maps that deliver these information services. Could you elaborate a bit about how, how does that kind of application service fit into uh, future organizational uh, needs? Mm -hmm. I mean, new, new markets? Yeah, so if we look at history, I mean, and, and sort of the evolution of GIS and the geospatial industry, typically you've seen in many of these companies um, trained geospatial professionals or GIS users who have typically been at the core of fielding requests to produce new maps mm -hmm. or reports mm -hmm. about uh, something with a map at the center. Okay, they, they, They'd have to get all the data, they'd have to run some process mm -hmm. and then produce a map and then deliver the map in the context of a report. That was the old way of doing it. The new way of doing it, it's perhaps the new way of, of looking at it, is still providing maps, but as applications that anyone can build uh, mm -hmm. with the, the, the connection to multiple data types and, and, and very simply adding some visualization around that and delivering it as a web service to a web browser or a, a mobile device. Mm -hmm. So we, we see a lot of ch a shift in how organizations work from the old way, the, the traditional map maker mm -hmm. to the map builder and really the map user. So here at Intergeo, you made uh, sig uh, some significant uh, announcements mm -hmm. regarding early access to, to the smart maps mm -hmm. and, and, and surrounding initiatives. Mm -hmm. Could you explain more about the map, map chest and uh, the right. Geo app? Yeah, certainly. What we built with, with MapChest is basically the, the geospatial version of Dropbox or geospatial version of Flickr or some of these you know, mm. uh, applications for uploading your data and, or pictures or with videos or whatever and then storing it and then accessing it later. Mm -hmm. uh, MapChest is the first of several smart map related uh, releases that allow customers to take the data they have inside their organization, upload it, manage it and ultimately share it with others. Mm -hmm. And we call it a chest because of course, like any treasure chest or tr a chest at home or whatever, it's a way of organizing your holdings so that ultimately you can go to them when you need them mm -hmm. and easily pull out what you okay. need. So map chest is really around that concept. Built on top of map chest this is this UAV cloud solution. So once again, you have all these UAV flying, UAVs flying they collect a lot of data, but you want to data is of limited value. You want to produce something with the data. Yeah. So you upload to Map Chest. You run a process, an app, a smart map to produce the data, oh, yeah. and ultimately get the results um, in the form of uh, 3D models, um, images, etc. So that that's how the two play together. And like you said, we announced an early access program at Intergeo this week for those applications. Yeah, yeah. Would you be able to reveal some insights to, to some of the smart Hexagon smart maps we'll be able to see in the future? Sure. I mean, I think I think at Hexagon Live in Hong Kong, we'll show a couple of applications. One of which is um, I, we haven't figured out the final name, but it'll be it'll basically be like a, like a, a property appraisal, a property uh, change index service where. Let's say in the United States, we have, a, you know, every year, for example, I have to pay taxes on my land, right? Yeah. So many cities and counties uh, calculate their taxes based on change inside of a land property. Yeah. So this property change service, this app, will effectively take before data, after data, compare the two, mash it together, and then put out a report on property change index. Hmm. And it'll prioritize and rank where the most changes occurred, and then typically you take that into a field with your mobile device, validate it, annotate, write things, and then basically feed that into the tax ah, update so, so, system. So, so that's to be launched as a smart map? As an a app? Yeah, as a service. As a service. Oh. So 
keep, uh, customers will be able to subscribe to it, pay a monthly, quarterly, annual fee, whatever, mm -hmm. and uh, and run that service. So that's one example of a Brilliant. smart map. Um, we have some green space analysis apps. Um, there's a whole host of things we're working on in Hong Kong, but without giving too much information away, I would suggest people come to Hong Kong and check it out for themselves. Okay, I think it'll be fun. Well, it's, it sounds really interesting, uh, the, the, the announcement. Uh, yes. Thank you for sharing your information. Thank you. And uh, wish you a good stay here in uh, Stuttgart at the Intergeo. Thank you, thank you. It's great to be here. Welcome. So this was Hexagon uh, Global Network TV from Intergeo in Stuttgart. Thank you for watching.